Hello, my name is Yodit. Um, I run OpenSensors.io. We're, we're an ODI incubator startup. Um, we've been around about two years now. Um, and I want to talk about scaling the Internet Things with open data. Obviously, we, we provide data infrastructure for, for IoT, uh, private and public data. And I'll, and I'll touch on why the kind of the open data side in a bit. But I, I, I want to start off with, I suppose, a case study um, and, and kind of showing you why open data. Um, as most of you know, uh, the, the third runway debate has been, has been raging in the UK for, for the last year or so. Um, and as a data nerd, it actually struck me how the, the kind of the lack of, of factual information, there's lots of subjective information for pros and cons, um, but, but no data available. And, and, and people that were living uh, locally um, have no access to data uh, around air quality and noise pollution and, and so on. And, and um, people that were pushing for it weren't, weren't kind of talking in terms of, of facts. There was, there was a lot of, um, I suppose, conjecture. Um, so with the, with the ODI's uh, summer showcase um, uh, help, we were able to deploy uh, 20 sensors uh, around Heathrow. Now we asked for volunteers, mostly through th Twitter, thinking that you know a few people would um, would volunteer, and we were inundated, um, to be frank. So we we had to we had to really narrow down the uh, the, the scope, and we deployed um, 20 air quality and noise sensors, um, and and out of that came Breed Heathrow. And what we wanted to do was, it's, it's a small scale project, but we wanted to demonstrate um, methodology, uh, use open data, open hardware, so that other people can repeat it. This is not, this is not a kind of a story that we're trying to own. We want, we want to be able to kind of um, create community groups around, around data, around understanding. Um, and this data is, is, is freely available as, uh, with open data licenses. People are still publishing in real time, and, and you're welcome to, to get an access it. Um, some interesting facts have come out, um, one of which is, is actually noise is, is a huge factor um, uh, in, in, uh, around there. Uh, so I think there's something like 54 decibels is, is the EU threshold for annoyance. Um, and we found that around 15% of the time, um, the, the noise levels actually peak way past this. It, it hits about 67 decibels quite regularly. Um, and this is, these are facts that no one has, uh, whereas the, the Heathrow Watch, I think, published means and averages, but actually averages are not what you want. You want to know when the peaks are um, and, 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 and understand what the impact will be. And, and this, is, this is just with, with the runways that are currently uh, in existence. So we, we haven't yet planned for kind of infrastructure and what the impact will be. Um, and um, so, so going back to why open data for the internet thing is that we're the only way we're going to scale um, this digitization of, of the, the public world, the cities, it is through open data. I mean, hardware is expensive. Sensor deployments are expensive to maintain, to, to, um, you know, kind of to deploy initially. And in order to get the best return for us, as citizens and, and, and government projects and smart cities projects, um, it's quite clear that having some sort of way to, to share it, for people to reuse it in multiple ways is, is crucial. And, um, and we currently process, I mean, we currently process around 7 million open data messages and, and people, I mean, this is getting traction and people get it. And uh, kind of the, the we kind of enable, I mean, Usman um, mentioned air quality egg, we enable air quality egg infrastructure to, to um, to thrive, um, lots of earthquake data, lots of kind of people putting up weather stations, but also large scale <coughs> deployments by smart cities. Uh, and we'd like to see this thriving and, and we're just getting started. Um, so, you know, if you, if you are thinking about the internet things, come see us. We're gonna show off some of the data in the startup studio uh, this afternoon. Um, and one, one of the lessons that we've learned is actually making the data open, just making the data open isn't, uh, isn't enough. For most of the residents, um, they, giving them JSON packets in real time in streaming data is actually uh, no use to them whatsoever. And the next things we're thinking about is how do you make this, um, how do you make this understandable? If, if, I, if I have information uh, from an egg and, and different things, I, I want to know um, how it impacts me. Um, you know how 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 kind of how can I compare it to to my neighbours and, and so on? So um, 
this is my call to arms. Please contact us and we'll be around in, in the next. Yes, thank you.